Uh, I'm Aaron Smith, uh, California Director for the Marijuana Policy Project. Um, we'd like to thank Mr. Amiano for introducing this uh, bold legislation, which we strongly support because it would finally put California on track uh, towards having a marijuana policy that's sensible, results-based, and in line with the views of most California voters who overwhelmingly know that prohibition has failed. Prohibition has failed to stop or curb marijuana use and availability. According to U.S. government data, about one in 10 Californians now admit to having used marijuana in the past year. And at about $14 billion annually, marijuana has become the state's largest cash crop. This legislation would end the insane policy of allowing this huge market to go completely unregulated and free of taxes. AB 390 would institute a strict regulatory scheme for marijuana sales similar to that which already exists for the much more dangerous drug of alcohol. Passing this legislation will reduce teen availability to marijuana. Under the current policy of blanket prohibition, more California teens report using marijuana than tobacco. This is the inevitable result of allowing this, this market to be in the hands completely of, of, of criminals with no incentive to card for age. AB 390, on the other hand, would require licensed vendors to prevent anyone under 21 from buying marijuana, which just as we see with Cal California has seen sales to tobacco to minors reduce dramatically as a result of the strict controls we have on tobacco. Additionally, AB 390 would fug fund drug education and treatment programs that, unlike prohibition, have proven effective at keeping teens away from drugs. Prohibition has not only failed to achieve its goal, but it's also brought on great societal costs, significantly more harmful than marijuana itself. Under prohibition, just as under alcohol prohibition of the 1920s, many of the enterprising criminals seeking to make profit in the vast underground market for marijuana are willing to go to any lengths, even kill, to protect those profits. Whether it be the Mexican drug cartels or syndicates originating here in the U.S., the prohibition-fueled market is a serious risk to the California public. Bootleg-style marijuana grows in our parks and wilderness areas, threaten not only our ecology, but hikers and nature enthusiasts. The White House Office of National Drug Control Policy has estimated that Mexican drug cartels rely on illegal marijuana for upwards of 70% of their revenue. Repealing prohibition would end this dangerous situation by creating a legal, regulated market, just as we did with alcohol in 1933. And it absolutely makes sense for California to get out in front with this solution to the national crisis, and AB 390 does just that. After all, there's no coincidence that Mexican cartels aren't killing each other over be the beer trade or growing wine grapes in our national forests. Finally, by ending the criminalization of millions of responsible adult marijuana consumers, AB 390 will restore respect for the rule of law. This legislation gives California an opportunity to be a leader in the nation towards a new and effective marijuana policy rather than what it is today, which is the embodiment of everything that's wrong with the old ineffectual one. And that's why uh, we urge your support today. Thank you.